first came across these on Instagram and as soon as I saw them, I was so inspired. And then I thought, hang on a minute, I might be able to make this myself. So the first thing I wanted to consider is what do I make this out of? I definitely want it to look ceramic, but I actually don't want it to be ceramic because I don't want it to be too heavy. And I prefer it, I prefer everything to be a little bit lighter. So it's just easier to move, easier to live with. The other question then is what size do I want? Because I could make something smaller. I could make like little small ones or something. Like what do I want? And I couldn't really decide. So I've gone for something that's the closest to the original. So I have bought this pot on Amazon. So I've got this, I've got two of them. Thinking about what I'm gonna do, there's a few key things. I can just stick lemons on here, of course. But I think to make it look as close to the original as possible, there's a few key things that I need to nail. One is that ceramic glaze gloss which I think will be hard. That's probably gonna be the hardest part of this. The next thing is the shape. And I think that I've got this shape really, like I think this is the right shape. Some of the ones that I found were too wide and short. And I think it needs to be something that's almost straight up, but just slightly flares at the top. That's why I got this one. I did a lot of searching around to get one that was the closest to the original shape. So pot sorted. Now to the lemons. I thought also about making these out of clay or something like clay, but I managed to find a link below where I got these, uh, but I got these little lemons and they, I think they're made out of polystyrene. This isn't gonna be too complicated. The goal is to just put the lemons on here. Now I, problem, I think that my lemons are too small compared to the original. I don't know if, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I think my lemons are too small, but maybe I'll go for it anyway. But my approach is basically to hot glue these on, spray paint the whole thing yellow, and then look at how to get the glaze. So that's my plan. I'm just gonna look online right now and see if I can find a better lemon. Day, I've been searching for other alternative plastic lemons and I think I'm gonna have to make these ones work because basically products that you can get are either this big or life-size lemons and a real size lemon is too big for this so I think I'd rather it be too small than too big. Something says, says to me though if it's like this does it really even look like a lemon? Is it just gonna be dots all around it? I don't know, but I'm just gonna go with what this is because I've got this stuff now here anyway. And worst case scenario, I can just have a pot that has stuff stuck onto it. So, we'll see. I am worried that the lemon to pot ratio is a bit off. And actually, if I get a smaller pot, the smaller lemons will look fine. So I'm just gonna test it uh, with masking tape and just place some on there and and just, and just see if it's acceptable or not. And if it's not, I have to find another pot. Okay, so I've done the first row and I think I'm into it. I think we're going to proceed with these. I've, I've been trying to put them on just like a little bit unevenly because that's what the original looks like. It's not perfect. They're kind of like bunched together, a little bit wonky and I like that look. So I think I might take the plunge. I think actually, do you know what I'll do? I'm gonna do one more row with the tape just to see how it looks with multiple rows because then that'll really show what it's gonna look like. Okay, done the second row. That took me about 30 seconds. I'm definitely into it. It's not gonna look identical, like the same ratios to the original one because the lemons are smaller, but I still think it will look good. But I'm gonna start hot boiling and I think I probably, much like my tinsel project, I underestimated how much I would need. Right, so I probably need to go and buy, probably need to order some more lemons so that I have enough. I'm ready for the presentation of my progress so far. I think this looks cool. I've learned a few things, so I've got a few bits of the strategy. It's really quick to do. So far on here, I have used almost three packets of the lemons, so I definitely am gonna need to buy more, classic. But um, I think it's looking cool. What I've learned is 
the top row, I tried to do it fairly uniform. The second row, I think, looks better because I positioned the lemons a lot more inconsistently, and that makes it look more handmade and organic, which is what I'm going for. Now, it took about a week for the rest of the lemons to arrive, but once they did, I got straight into it, and I figured out the best way to do it. And that is, for me, being right-handed, it was best to hold the lemons in my right hand because they actually are so lightweight that they're actually really easy to drop and you really don't want to do that when they have hot glue on them. Just trust me on that one, I learnt that the hard way. So the best thing to do was to use the hot glue gun in the left hand and then hold the lemons in the right hand. And that way I was able to just pick them up, put some glue on the lemon and then place the lemons really easily. And that enabled me to do it really quickly as well. Okay, so here it is with all of the lemons on it. They actually ran out again, but I've decided to just call it the end and have this gap at the bottom of it because that's what the original looks like anyway. So next steps, I need to put the clay around the top to give that rustic effect rather than the man-made perfect shape. And then I need to find the right color yellow. I'd be happy if I found a spray paint that was exactly the same color that the lemons are now because I think it looks good. Uh, but I think that what's more likely is that I'm going to end up getting a slightly more mustard coloured thing, I think. And then the next step will be spray painting it and then hopefully doing a layer of gloss on top as well, I think. And then I need to find the right plant. Like I don't know if I want to put in something like this or if I want to put in cut flowers or something. I need to just see what's available and figure it out, I think. So see what's at the shops. There were a few options for yellow spray paint, but I ended up choosing this one that specifically said it was an enamel high gloss for multiple surfaces. So I thought that would be best because plastic isn't the easiest thing to put spray paint on. I also got some primer that's specific for plastic. So when I got home, I rolled out some air dry clay and placed it around the top rim and I pressed it down just so that I could soften the edges so it didn't look so man-made. In retrospect, I should have done this before I stuck the lemons on because I wasn't able to push it down as much as I'd like to because the lemons were in the way. So if I did it again, I'd definitely do this part before I stuck the lemons on. But I still do think it looks good enough, especially from far away. So I left it to dry overnight and then the next day it was time finally to spray paint. So I went outside and firstly I sprayed that primer and I just did that so that the yellow spray paint would have the best chance of not only sticking to the surface but also staying and lasting longer. Now what was really interesting when I sprayed the yellow is it really was very glossy. I knew that I had bought a glossy one but I didn't really know how glossy it was going to be. But as I did it, I started to think, maybe I don't even need to do an extra coat of gloss at the end. It was so satisfying watching the yellow paint cover this so well. I was really nervous about choosing the right paint, so I'm glad I somehow managed to pick one that did exactly what I wanted it to do. So I'll definitely leave a link for this exact one in the description box below. So here it is. It's been drying for about two hours now and I think it's dry. It seems to be completely dry. As you can see, it's actually really glossy. So I just, like I could add a layer of gloss to make it even more glossy, but I just don't think it needs it. The top also, when you look up really close, you can see that it's got this like fake layer of clay on it that I put. I think that that would look way better if I had just done that first. You wouldn't be able to see it at all if I'd have done that before I stuck down the lemons. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. So I was really happy with what I had made. And since it was such a beautiful sunny day, I started to take some videos of my new beautiful creation. But it was at about this point that a certain TikTok song started creeping into my mind. And I was horrified to realize that this looks a lot like corn. So what am I supposed to do? It looks like lemons and it is lemons, but if you have corn in your mind, you see corn. <laughs> so I just decided that I just need to make sure I pick exactly the right plant to lean towards lemon rather than corn. 
So, looking on the bright side of this, it gave me the perfect excuse to go to the nursery. So at this nursery, the best thing I could find were these ferns, which I'd been wanting some of these anyway. I always love a bird of paradise, so I definitely considered these ones. Then I saw this fake lemon tree and I thought this would actually be perfect if it was real. And I found myself in the fake flower section. Even though I don't tend to buy fake flowers, I did find this section really inspiring because there were so many that had exactly the right look if they were real for a really beautiful flower array. Arrangement. Ideally, I'd love some individual poppies or hydrangeas or a really small but perfectly shaped lemon tree. But I wasn't going to buy fake things, so I just bought the little ferns and gave them a try. And when I tried it in the pot, even though I really like this plant, I just thought it sort of made it look even more like corn. <laughs> so the next day, I went to the big garden centre with a goal in mind to try and get a few options to try. I couldn't believe when I got there that they had lemon trees that were exactly the size that I was looking for. So I got a lemon tree, but then I saw some kumquat plants and they were even more mesmerizing with the beautiful orange fruit. But I decided to stick with the lemons because I was really on this lemon project. But then I was lucky enough to see a rose grape plant, which I absolutely love these and they're really hard to find. So I got one of them. And then when I was looking at all of these plants, I realized that the red ones sort of looked like poppies, which is also what I was hoping to find. So I picked up a few of them so I could test it out with the pot at home. Now, as I was walking out, I saw even more kumquats and I was so tempted to get them, but I decided, no, I've got enough. I can go home and test each of the things that I bought. So I tested the different plants that I bought. The hydrangeas looked nice. The red flowers looked a little bit too small, I thought. And then I considered the lemon. The lemon tree was a little bit too big, but I tested it just placed behind the pot just to get the effect. And it looked quite good and I really considered it. But then I put the rose grape plant in and I think I knew from the start that that would be the best. It just suits the pot so well. And it also actually is what was in the original inspiration image that I had for this. So I just couldn't put anything else in it when I knew that I had this as an option and I'm so happy with it now and I do think that it really does look like a lemon pot rather than a corn pot so I do consider that a success now if you're wondering about that sad looking lamp behind the armchair there that's there because it's a work in progress. I'm currently working on a DIY to recreate a really beautiful designer lamp. And I think I've figured it out. I really hope it works out. If I manage to pull this one off, it will probably be the best DIY that I've ever done. So if you wanna see how that turns out, make sure you subscribe. But in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful floral display and just focus on that rather than the sad lamp in the corner.